We were founded uh, about three years ago on the idea that robots are coming out of factories. Yeah, we are based in Marseille. We met about 10 years ago at ECAL where we both studied. We both studied graphic design. So we have no background in robotics whatsoever. So everything we do now is kind of self-taught. This robotic installation, it's called Handshake, and it allows you to shake hands uh, corona-friendly. You can go on a website, you can register, then you can take control of one of the two hands. Like each hand is mounted on one of our robots, and so you can kind of by moving the mouse or the finger on your mobile phone, you can control the mobile robot and then move the hand. It's an experiment in telepresence. When you are controlling the hand, you are physically moving the hand and someone else around the earth can be physically interacting with you. And so that's what for us makes it very different uh, and very interesting for, for, for most visitors. Last few years, there have been really a push to have robots um, not separated physically from workers in factories. Now we have robots that can be around anybody in any place with uh, public, with students, with uh, customers. Uh, and so you can start to think about completely new uh, use cases where you can install these machines and it creates completely new experiences that were not possible before. Essentially, we try to do everything ourselves. Uh, and this is something that we take very uh, close to our heart. Every project we do, we want to understand everything. And the fact, uh, uh, the process of learning all the steps to, to teach ourselves all the techniques, methodologies uh, to produce our projects, for us, it's almost, um, it's almost part of the project to, to say that uh, as artists and designer, we actually don't want to just commission other people to execute this part, the technical part. Um, we want to reappropriate these technologies for ourselves and we can only truly understand their potential by, by knowing how to use them. We used a lot of processing, uh, which is a sort of a framework for artists and designers to program visual experiments uh, on screen. Uh, but then it's very easy to interact with uh, physical hardware and sensors, so we use extensively Arduino. We have quite some projects in the pipeline now. We do some like robot mounted on a car driving through Zurich and we have some other crazy things happening. So we kind of want to push this aspect of the of our studio. So now because we know very well electronics and programming and mechanical engineering, the design and the art uh, side. Uh, we can blend the two uh, in very creative ways. Um, and so that gives us uh, a unique service um, for potential partners.